Let's see if this is in frame. Sort of, kind of. Probably should raise you up a little bit. Um, let's see. Hang on a second. Oh, there we go. I'll just move it a little closer. That might be that might be the solution while we wait for those uh, peat moss uh, seedling pods to uh, to expand. So there's the bag for the peat moss to expand. That's going to be recycled to do something else. Now I found this in the bottom. It's a corkscrew. I don't drink wine. Um. Why did I have a corkscrew in the bottom of my garden supply tote? I have no idea. Was I trying to pry something off with this corkscrew? I, again, have no idea. Perhaps. I couldn't find my grandfather's uh, knife. So, um, that's rusty. <clears throat> yeah, I obviously used it out in the garden because uh, it got damp and I didn't dry it when I put it away. So I must have used it for the knife. Yes, I must have did that. Because it certainly wasn't opening up a bottle of wine in my garden. So, I'll set that there. Now this is probably what I couldn't find. And this is old. This is from my grandfather. Uh, it's old, it's rusty, and it probably needs sharpening. But I remember him pulling this out of his pocket, and he used to keep it uber sharp. Actually, it's still, still quite sharp. And he would carry this around in his pocket. And at night, he would empty his pockets. He had this knife go on the top of his dresser, then his, his uh, wallet or whatever, and then the change that he accumulated in his pocket. Would all go on the top of the dresser, and then that was routine. And the next morning, it all go back into his pockets. He'd jingle around as he walked around with the change, the loose change, you know, coming in contact with the metal of the little pocket knife. So I've kept that, and I use it in my garden. I have, although upgraded, when I need something a little stronger, because this is great for string and whatnot. I have a pair of scissors. Blue handled scissors. I'm not quite sure where I put them. I think they were developed to anger people. <laughs> you ever own one of those kind of scissors? You put your fingers in them and you try and cut something, and they're 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 just I don't know the holes in the to hold the scissors are just cutting into your hands. Oh, jeez, I just don't know. I wonder where I put them. I know they're handy here, but anyway, that's beside the point. So I am going to start inside my garden supplies a little um, container to keep certain things organized that I know I can reach for. And there'll probably be layers in this container <laughs> somehow. Um, probably have to make a little shelf out of something. To Anyway, so in goes... Grab his pocket knife. And then, Babette's in the garden. She and I were talking about cabbage moth butterflies and uh, the worms. They lay the thousands of eggs, and then you got the, all those little worms. Not worms, but uh, caterpillars. Devouring your plants, and they start off real tiny, and they get big as they eat. Well, of course they do, just like anything else. And she said... Um, you can pick them off with this. It's great. Or the slugs. Works beautifully for the slugs because, let me tell you, I don't just knock the slugs off. I remove them from my permaculture bed, put them in salted water, and that's where they die. Because if I just knock them off, they're just going to crawl back up and eat everything. So these, as long as they stay tight and not bent, they work beautifully. And this is just a woman's... Uh, beauty shop hairpin, you know, when they're cutting their, your hair and they divide it into sections. They, these are the clips they use. Some are plastics, you know. But uh, this is the only one I could find that I have left. I think I have one still out there in the permaculture bed because the material they're made out of, they don't really rust. Um, it's aluminum, I would imagine. 
which really doesn't rust as far as I know. But th that's a great handy tip and it's a useful tool. Very useful for those slugs. That I'm not going to touch them. And I usually don't put gloves on unless I'm rooting, you know, like digging really heavily in the dirt because it gets under my nails. Well, potting soil under my nail right now. I'm bothered to try and get it off and I'm not going to. But that, uh, that's beside the point. So then I found a bunch of this. Um, what do you call this stuff? Oh. Velcro. Gardener's Velcro. Don't you hate when your, your brain just freezes up like your computer does sometime when it's trying to run an editing software? And your computer and you're trying to edit your gardening video or just whatever YouTube video and your editing software says, <laughs> I'm bigger than your computer. I'm going to freeze it up to make your life miserable. Well, this, I forgot the name of it again. Good Lord, Laura, you need more coffee. Uh, all that's coming to mind is bungee tape, and I know that's not it. No, I don't have Alzheimer's yet. At least I don't think so. But, uh, okay, moving on. Anyway, I found a bunch of pieces. So what I like to do is clean it up and put all the pieces and make a roll and roll it all together into one big giant piece. So when I need it, first let's say have my tomatoes and I need a little bit of something to, you know, attach them to uh, a stake so they don't blow over. Uh, I will use uh, twine sometimes. But I do like this because it's quicker to get off the tomato in the when I want to remove it than twine is because I like a bow. And then you got to take the bow off and if I pull the wrong string and it makes a knot and I don't cut the string off because I save every bit of string. I'm a miser. So, speaking of string, <laughs> like I said, I save it all. And I just took a little piece of uh, bamboo that broke off. And I, at the end of the season, I will take the string off no matter what size it is. And I will wrap it around this bamboo, which is handy dandy for the next season. And there's a crack in the bamboo, or I'll make one with a knife, and that's the starter. And that way, I know where to pull to unravel this string. And it's in many different lengths. One year, I put them all together, and I thought, well, that's silly, because a lot of times you don't need to keep cutting it. So, anyway, that's what goes into my little green thing. Then, what else did I find that I found? interesting well I found all these clips now these clips show you a bigger one are not bad I bought them at the dollar store I mean they're quick and easy they will hold your tomato stem to the uh, steak that you have in your garden they oftentimes will break if you can grab the piece because all it is, is they're hooked together. There's a hole here and a hole here that these wires have to go into. Sometimes that comes out, just pops out. You could pop it back in. It also will come apart here at the joint. It's very easy. It's got a little, uh, it's easy to uh, put it back in and fix them. I don't know how many times I have. Um, I do, oops, I do find if they're in the sun, like the heat, which most of them are because it's a tomato plant. You don't put them in the shade, you put them in the sun. The sun degrades the plastic and they, they crack and break like up here and whatnot or anywhere amongst here or the little hinge here breaks and you can't fix it. So, you know, that's a temporary thing. It's a it's a quick and easy tie up but it does Velcro. I just remembered the name. Oh my gosh. Velcro. It doesn't beat the Velcro. The Velcro beats the twine, in my opinion. Easier on, easier off. The Velcro, not the twine. Twine's easy on, but a little bit longer off. And if you are older, of the older generation, and you have a chore to do, you don't want to be forever doing removing the string from multiple plants. Because you're bent over awkwardly and... Oh, that just doesn't work for me anymore. Used to. 
but not anymore. You can also at the hardware store get some of these, and these are great for holding on. Well, anyway, you got a quick look at that one. I got another brand here, it's blue. Um, these little tiny vice clips type things, and they work great for holding on your tarps if it's windy where you are. Because clothespins will not work. And uh, binder clips will work, but not as well as these. These have a, a very strong, there's a metal running through here, very strong. And some of the bigger ones, it takes me two hands to open. And those are used for my ladder setup when I have to drape something over to keep frost over things. I take two ladders, drape a giant tarp over it, and put jumbo clips. They're huge. And they're very strong, and they're meant for word working, but they work in the garden as well. So, let's see what else I have. And then, I, like I said, I found all my clothespins. Yes, I did. And I found this. And you're wondering, what's this? Well, this is the safety for one of my giant vice clips, because a little piece of rubber at the...